What's up, guys? My name is Tony, and I run the Star Wars YouTube channel, Star Wars Sith. So I've been on YouTube now a little bit over a year, maybe a year and three months now, I believe it is. And I wanted to make this video for a while now where I show you guys what I made my first six months of being monetized while on YouTube. So literally, I watched a ton of videos just like this before I even started my channel because I was always interested and curious on, you know, how quick people got monetized, how much they made their first YouTube paycheck, how much they made their first month, their first six months, their first year. So I wanted to do this just to share some insight on what I made and how I did it each month, like how many videos I dropped, how many views did I get and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you guys my analytics, everything, be very transparent behind the scenes. So we're going to take a look at that right now. Now, the first video I made like this was me getting monetized in eight months. So I'll link that down in the description below, but I showed my journey on everything that I did each month to month to get monetized in eight months, which is pretty quick for me. When I watched a lot of videos on YouTube beforehand, I saw some people it would take them. It was a couple months, some people a year, some people years. So everyone's YouTube journey varies. That's just my particular journey. And I wanted to show everybody how I did it and what it looked like each month. So now I want to show you what it looked like each month on my monetized journey. That way you guys can have somewhat an idea. And the point of this video is maybe to like helpfully give you guys a little bit of insight on how it works and hopefully motivate you guys to, to either make your channel, start your channel. Like my brother just started an anime YouTube channel two, three days ago, which is awesome. I'm going to link that down in the description below. If you like anime, check that out. I know nothing about it, but I'm still showing love supporting. Or if you already have a channel and maybe you're not as consistent as you could be, Maybe this might push you to be a little bit more consistent because once you hit those monetization goals and are dropping content as consistently as you can, it's nice bringing in that extra money. I'm not going to lie. And, and it's crazy to me because once you guys see what I made, I made all that and my channel just covers talking about Star Wars, opening toys and playing video games. Like I've been doing that almost my whole life. You're telling me if I would have started this channel earlier, I could have been making extra money by doing what I already did my whole life almost. So if you're really thinking about jumping into this creator world, do it, just do it. Let's take a look at what you guys wanna see. Now, I got monetized this year on January 31st. So my first day of being monetized, I made 99 cents. And you, you don't know how happy that made me to see that when I saw that I got 99 cents from that first day after posting content for eight months and not, not, I don't want to say not seeing results, but not just seeing anything come back from it in a financial lens. And not that it's all about money, but it's kind of nice, you know, to see that coming in from your hard, consistent work. So January 31st made 99 cents. So now my first full month of being monetized. So February 1st to February 28th, I had 48,000 views, 2.4 K watch hours, I gained 325 subs that month and I made $107.37. So for my first month of being monetized, I thought maybe all oh, maybe I'll make like five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks for the whole month. So when I saw I made that, I was so happy and excited because I'm like, I didn't expect that. And like I appreciate anything. Like to me, it's just extra money. So 107.37 my first month. And the way that breaks down. So the least amount of money I made on one day was $1.69. The most amount I made on one day was $17.50. And the breakdown on that was $66.43 on watch page ads. Then I did start a channel membership program. Shout out to all my channel members. Appreciate all you guys. And from channel members, I made $20.69. From super chat, so from doing live streams, whether it's for talking about Star Wars, video game live streams, I made nineteen dollars and eleven cents. And from the YouTube shorts feed, I made a dollar fourteen. For the month of February, I actually put out twenty-seven videos. I did sixteen shorts and ten live streams. 
So that's the breakdown of my first month, 107.37. Super excited to see that. Now let's see how we did in March. So for March, I had 87,000 views. So the views increase. I had 5.1K in watch hours and I gained 543 subs, which is wild. Now, the reason the month before this and this month was so high with subs is because on my channel, I cover a lot of conventions, specifically Star Wars Celebration. And these were the few months before London Celebration. So I was pumping out a lot of content around that. So that was a huge part of my growth these months was all the London Celebration coverage. So as you guys will see later on, when we get to the, the fifth and sixth month, the subscribers numbers are nowhere near that. And it's understandable because right now it's a little bit dry in Star Wars content because there's not a lot going on. But when stuff is going on, you could see how it spikes. So March, I made $191.34. Now, to see it increase from 107 to 191, I was like, wow, this is just, it's just so cool. I was just so happy. It was great. And again, it's just stuff that I normally did anyway, just recorded it posted it and as you can see it paid off so in the month of march the least amount i made was two dollars and 53 cents the most i made was 26 dollars and 63 cents in one day and the way that this broke down watch page ads 149 dollars and 91 cents channel memberships 20 dollars and 66 cents super chats 18 dollars and 97 cents and short feeds, $1.81. Now, for this month, I actually did 42 videos, 16 live streams, and 15 shorts. So that's the amount of content that I put out for the month of March. All right, so this is where the fun begins for all my Star Wars fans. If you know, you know. So the month of April, insane month for me. 182k views 11,000 watch hours and i gained 730 subs and i generated 525 dollars and 90 cents now that is just buck wild to me i was just so happy so excited for that so the reason that this month was crazy is this was the month of london star wars celebration so i actually went to london was dropping content consistently while I was there. I was out there seven days. I dropped a video each day. And one of the videos I know kind of went semi-viral and I had like 21,000 views in like a day or two, which is a lot for me being a small channel, being, you know, just over a thousand subscribers, almost around 2000. So London Celebration did a huge unlock for my channel. Let's take a look at seeing at that breakdown of that. So the least amount I made in one day was $5.31. The most I made was $57.41. And then the way that this broke down, $405.39 of watch page ads, $62.86 in channel membership. So my members went up. Super chats, $56.03. And shorts, $1.62. So for this month, I actually did 34 live streams. I dropped 30 videos and I did 12 shorts. So April was a great month. I was just so happy with the results. Now for May, not as good as April, but still good results in my book, for me at least. Now I had 67,000 views, 3.6K in watch hours, gained 153 subs. So not in the five, 700 territory, but 153 subs is solid. And then I made $405.45. So yeah, it was less than last month, right? But like, that's still 405 bucks for, for what? For talking about Star Wars? So let's look at the breakdown. So the least amount I made in one day was $1.50. The most I made in a day was $74.60. And how this broke down, this is where things kind of flipped, right? So as you can see, a bulk of my earnings this month was Super Chats. So $193.17. The watch page ads was only $118.56. The month before that, it was over $400. Memberships, $92.52. So again, memberships went up. And then short feeds, $1.20. So for this month, 
I actually did a lot of live streams. I think this was right around the month. I might have started to live stream a lot of gaming. So I just got into the gaming. Jedi Survivor had just came out. So I was live streaming Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, and getting into a ton of gaming. So when you're doing those live streams, you get a chance for engaging with your audience. And then sometimes they send you super chats. And as you can see, in my case, I made more of super chats than I did off the watch ads. So that's my breakdown of May. Now let's take a look at June. So June, you can see the numbers are very unique here as well. So I dropped in views again, 29,000 views, 1.8K watch hours, only 68 subs. So very, very slow month in getting new subscribers. But I made $634.34. Now, if you compare that to the April month when I was at Celebration, where I got 700 subs, when I made like 500, that's a crazy difference. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways you can make money in YouTube. And sometimes it's not as consistent as you think it could be. So that's why it's crucial to have like multiple streams if you're trying to make YouTube like a full time in a career, because you can't always count on making enough off the AdSense, off the watch ads. You can't always count on Super Chats, channel memberships. But as you get, as you guys have seen so far, it's fluctuated a lot. So let's take a look at the breakdown for this for this month. So the least amount I made in one day was $1.71. The most was $96.17. And I'm pretty sure that was a, a live stream. My man, T-Man, shout out to T-Man with the Super Chats. I think he went off that day. But $96.17 in one day. And the way that this broke down, $431.31 were from Super Chats. So that's strictly from live streams. Members, $120.92. So my members went up again, which is great. Pre again, I appreciate all you channel members. Watch page ads was only $81.54 and shorts was only $0.58. Cents. Now let's see how much content I put out that month. So that month I did 46 live streams. So I was gaming a ton. I know I did a birthday live stream that was like four hours long. We were playing Zelda. We were playing Survivor. We stopped in the middle of my stream. Everybody went and got pizza. We were all eating pizza live together. It was a blast. And 46 live streams, 15 videos, and 12 shorts. So as you can see, I didn't do a lot of videos and shorts that month. That's the most amount I've made in any month was from this month. So that's how I did in June. Now let's see how July was. So July, I did 40,000 views, 1.8K in watch hours. 121 subs so all those increased from the month before but i only did 254 dollars and 26 cents so as you can see right there huge difference from the last couple months because it was it was going from 500 to 400 to 600 now it dropped to 254. now let's take a look at how that broke down so the least amount i made out in one day was a dollar 29 and then the most amount I made in one day was $33.83. So look at this. This is very interesting. For this month, my channel memberships was the highest. So I, I know we saw in past month, it was watch ads for a couple of the months. Then it was super chats for a couple of the months. For this month, it was my channel memberships that held me down. So $109.93 for memberships. Super chats was $74.18. So a slower month of super chats. And then a slower month in watch ads, 68.01. And then shorts was $1.14. So for this month, I actually did 39 live streams, 26 videos, and 19 shorts. So that brings my grand total for my first six months on YouTube to $2,118.66. Now, that's amazing to me right? It's clearly not enough for me to quit my day job and live off of. But for me, just doing videos, again, talking about Star Wars, talking about conventions, toy hunting, opening toys, playing video games. And to, to get this out of that, something that I love and do anyway, is, is amazing to me. And I just, even right now, it still kind of makes, doesn't make sense to me that I earn that from this and it, it's such an awesome thing that people don't realize and they need to take advantage no matter what you're into i'm not you don't have to make a star wars channel whatever you're passionate about in life if you're truly passionate about it and knowledgeable just do it you do it anyway 
you're always, you know, at work or with friends talking about it, doing it, playing games together, going to shows, doing this, doing that. Like you're already doing it. Why not record it? There's going to be an audience somewhere that likes that same genre and does the same things that you do. So for me, this is just a great, it's been a great unlock in life, having this, this extra outlet, earning this extra money. And a lot of this money I get to put back into the channel. I've used it to pay off some debt, to pay off my car, to get new equipment and set up for my desk. So if you're thinking about starting off, just do it just do it and like you don't need all the fancy stuff like i'm gonna show you guys something crazy and like to this day it still blows my mind so i think i have a total of like 600 something videos on my channel right but my most successful video and to this day this video still gets the most views every month so in my ad analytics if you look every month the most views are from this video i posted over a year ago it's at 200,000 views, which to me is crazy because, again, I'm a small channel. I'm a little guy here on YouTube. 200,000 views. This was the seventh video I've ever posted on YouTube. And this whole video was shot on my iPhone 13, was edited in free iMovie. So no fancy camera, no fancy mic, no fancy lighting, no fancy editing. And it's it's my best performing video ever on my channel out of 643 videos. So that right there blows my mind and I appreciate it and it helped me get monetized. But at the same time, since then, I haven't had anything to that scale. Now, I've had a couple of the videos that have done pretty good. Like this one with 58,000 views, 22,000 views, 21,000 views over time, right? Which is great. But like something like this scale, I haven't been able to replicate just yet. But that goes to show, like, for your channel, it could just be one video that gets you all those subs that you need. It could be one video that gets you that 4,000 watch hours. It was this video is the reason I had my 4,000 watch hours in my first eight months. If that video wouldn't have went off like that, I probably would not have been monetized in eight months. So that just goes to show it just takes one video to, to get you there, and you don't have to be all fancy everything. So that's just something to keep in mind. Hopefully this video gave you guys some insight on how the YouTube analytics works and how you could potentially make money once you are monetized. So comment down below if anything in here helped you out or motivated you. And I hope that it did because I just want to see just everybody grow because there's there's so much space and opportunity for growth on YouTube. It's crazy. So if you're if you're still hesitant, don't just do it. Just hop right in. But that's pretty much everything for this video, guys. If you enjoy this video, drop a like. If you like Star Wars and enjoy Star Wars content, be sure to subscribe. I drop stuff almost daily on this channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.